how to create a payment link on Square. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to collect and also create a payment link into your SquareUp account. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to squareup.com. So once you are here, sign in into your account. And here, as you can see, we are on the dashboard of our Square Up. Now, all we need to do is to head over the left side here. Then we are going to see for all the products. We have items and orders, reporting, sales channels, and staff and payroll. And here we have payments. We are going to click on payments, and here we have a drop down menu. So we are going to see from this menu, we have a lot of items, but we are going to select your payment links, which contain maybe the currency sign. We are going to click on it. And here you're going to sit and see the dashboard of the payment links. If you want to create a payment link, you're going to click on create link. And here you're going to choose the purpose of your payment link. We have take payment, sell an item, sell an event or class. And here we have accept donation. You're going to set up, for example, a take a payment. Then we are going to see here the preview of the uh, page. We're going to click on continue. Now we have the details. You can put the title of the uh, right here, the purpose. You can put here any amount or an exact amount. If it is a payment, for example, for $100 uh, here for the frequency are going to put it here uh, for one time, or you can put it recurring for weekly, uh, monthly, quarterly, twice a year or annually. You can put a description also you can add a upload or upload an image for the here decoration we are going to upload an image here we are going to put this image like that so we are going to zoom in a little bit and put it as a cover so you can go ahead and put the name of your service right there and it will put up right here so you can put here some custom fields you can add some fields title. For example, here we are going to put name and here we are going to put a uh, last name. Last, we're going to write last name and you can allow the tipping. You can also, instead of setting here, the last name, you're going to put email address. If you want to set up the tipping, you can go ahead and turn it up uh, on or off. For the confirmation, you are going to redirect to a website after checkout. You can go ahead and put the website URL if you want. Uh, but here we have the confirmation is going to be like that. This is the mobile version and we have here the desktop version. So when you finish, you're going to click on save and boom, here we have the payment link. We're going to wait for the process and it will give you whether uh, we need to, to set a title, for example, test. Then we are going to click on save again. We're going to get our link right here. You can go ahead and click on preview and it will take you to that direct link and see your checkout going on live. So we are going to wait for the checkout to be opened right away in just a few seconds. And here we have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.